Hi everyone, my name is Jen Wyatt. I am your business and productivity coach. If you're joining me live today, I want to say welcome. And if you are catching me on the replay, I want to say welcome to you too. Just give me a shout out so I can see that you are here. And I thank you so much for taking your time to sit and listen and talk about some you know, concepts around productivity. And what I want to talk about today is kind of interesting. It's a concept of are you a microwave or a crock pot? Because I think it's important to understand wh who we are um, in this context, meaning a microwave is someone who wants to get it done yesterday. It's fast and it's quick, it's one and done. And then a crock pot is, it takes a long time to cook, right? When you put stuff in a crock pot, even 30 minutes or an hour later, it's not exactly where it's going to be. It hasn't fully developed yet. So one of the things I wanted to kind of bring up is what happens when someone trains for the Olympics. You guys hear me talk about running and working out, and I'm not like a workout guru, but I do like to take care of myself because it helps me stay focused and be productive and I feel healthier when I work out. But I want you to think about for a minute, um, someone who trains for the Olympics. Now they weren't born ready to, to be in the Olympics. They had either an idea, a thought or passion or driver, or they were inspired by someone or a coach saw them perform and said to them or their parents, because they're usually quite young when they start training, that you need to be in the Olympics. You need to, this. you have potential to win a medal. But then even the next day, they're not ready to go to the Olympics, right? They have to train and they have to take time and they have to really put in the work in order to meet that goal, in order to even be qualified the Olympics. And when they're at, when they get into the Olympics, then they still have to train and they have to show up quite early, some of them, and, you know, practice and practice and practice for hours and hours on end. Now, I want you to picture those people in the Olympics and think about them as crockpots. Now, granted, we, some of us will never move into anything that large or have anything as amazing as being in the Olympics. But some of us are building businesses. Some of us are building side hustles. Some of us are moms who work in a career that want to grow in that career. Some of us are, I mean, there's so many of us that do so many different things. And, um, and they're good. They're still good. Sorry, I have a puppy who's chewing on something. And hold on. Yeah, she's chewing on something. Uh, so if you hear crunching, I apologize. But she's going to town on it. It's just a toy, but it sounds crunchy. Anyway, sorry, get a little sidetracked. Okay, so picture the person training for the Olympics as a crockpot. Now, a lot of us have Olympic-sized goals. Like I said, we won't maybe be in the Olympics, but we have goals that are that big. And... Um, that is crockpot mentality when you can actually take a long-term goal and slowly, slowly build and build and build. Because even if you're trying to do something better or grow in a certain area, you still have to do it daily, weekly. You have to build up those skills. And once you get to a certain level, then you can challenge yourself again and you can grow and grow and grow. And it's the same way with setting goals and like accomplishing those goals is it takes it takes steps it takes commitment it takes drive right but sometimes we give up before we get going like we get addicted to the planning part where we can have this great goal and go oh yeah i'm going to be in the olympics and i'm going to have to train so many hours a day and i'm going to have to do this yeah that's great i have this great solid plan but then we give up on it we're like, oh yeah, I feel good. I planned it out. And then end of story, right? I've totally been there. Or we start the plan. Like I've started eight week exercise programs in week four. I'm like, yeah, I'm kicking it. I'm doing, I've done four weeks. And now, you know, the next day I'm like, oh yeah, done that board or whatever. You know, we give up 
we stop believing ourselves or, or there's many different reasons why we give up on our goals. But I want you to consider the thinking of, do you have a crockpot mentality or a microwave? Because when we have a microwave mentality, it's like I talk about with the goal planning, we can think, oh yeah, I have this plan that's ready and it's done, therefore, but it, it didn't happen tomorrow, so I guess it's not the right thing, or I guess I don't want it enough, or it's too hard. Instead of slow cooking it, instead of taking daily actions, instead of slowly progressing towards that goal, because it's like the tortoise and the hare story, slow and steady wins the race, right? The hare could potentially be running circles around the turtle, but it can be going in so many different directions that at the end of the day, the slow and steady will end up at the end. So that's the difference between a microwave and a crock pot. And I just kind of want to talk through some points to kind of help you see, first of all, think about for a second, do you like instant results? I mean, I know a lot of us do. I work with a lot of entrepreneurs and CEOs that they want to make the change and they want to see that change happen like yesterday. And I have to kind of laugh because especially when you're in an organization, um, and even if it's your organization, you have to, it takes time to stir, to steer a ship. Like the bigger the organization, the longer it takes to, to, to turn, right? So you have to think about that. And often we have this microwave mentality where we're like, this has to happen like yesterday. And if it doesn't happen yesterday, then what, this isn't a great goal or this isn't good. Or it's, you know, like I said, it's not worth it and we give up. But to have that crockpot mentality, you have to kind of think through these things. And the first thing is to see beyond what is happening right now instead of chasing every new thing. So, hold on one second. Puppy was chewing on a roll of paper. Okay, so see, again, seeing beyond what's happening right now. I could totally give up on this live right now because, you know, I have huge puppy distractions. But perseverance. Um, so see beyond what is happening right now instead of chasing after every new thing. Now, if you're an entrepreneur and you have like it's shiny object syndrome where you can see, oh, this looks good, or oh, I can make ten thousand dollars in thirty days, or, or whatever. You know, we get caught up in all these different things and shiny objects. And even in our personal lives, it's like, oh, watching Netflix is more fun than working out, so I'm going to go do that. Or, you know, I don't feel like it. This is a lot of times is what I hear. I don't feel like doing this. And that's, again, staying in that moment of what I feel like instead of looking beyond that and see, okay, if I don't do this step right now, this part of my goal, then then what is it, how is it going to affect my tomorrow? Like we often don't think like that, but I think in a crock pot mentality, you kind of do because you need to sit and let that stew and let it mold and let it cook and not be moldy, but I'm like talking about being shaped. So like you want to shape your tomorrow by what you do today. So that's like the first thing of crock pet mentality is trying to get that balance between tried and true, like this is how I'm going to go, this is my steps, and this is what I know is going to work for me to meet this goal, and staying confident and staying in that moment and seeing beyond what's happening right now, and then innovation, because there's time for innovation, there's time for creativity. I worked with a lot of creatives who basically when I have them go through, you know, they want help with time management, but yet they don't want to live in a box. They don't want to, like, feel constricted by being in a time management box, but yet they're struggling. So that's where I suggest, and I'm going to suggest it to you, is to have that balance of tried and true and innovation. So block out time 
absolutely to do to meet your goals and do your best work but block out time for innovation for surfing the internet for looking at new things for trying new things because when we try new things it actually gives us wind under our wings to meet our goals so find that balance between the two the second way to be a crockpot is to resist temptation and this is really important resist temptation to jump ship when you get bored now, I have totally been in a sporting place where, okay, this is my goal. Yawn. It's not done yet. Okay. Maybe it never will be done, you know, or whatever. I mean, we all have ways that we get bored. We live currently in a culture where quitting things is normal. I don't know how, I mean, there's a, a movement that's been out for a while. It's like, do whatever feels good. Do whatever job that feels good. And yes, I think it's important to follow your purpose, but sometimes you have to do the things that are uncomfortable. You have to do the things that you don't want to do in order to get where you want to go. And it's important to recognize that. So when we live in a culture where quitting is normal, be different. You can totally be unique and different by resisting that temptation to jump ship, by taking the opportunity when it comes to actually see beyond what is happening right now and to move towards where you want to go. And the third thing is to develop perseverance. Like I said with my puppy, I could be super distracted right now and she's so cute that, you know, I kind of want to just hang out with her, but I also wanted to bring this message to you. So that's perseverance. And the definition of perseverance, and I'm going to read it to you because I think it's important. I love definitions of words. It's steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Let me just say it one more time. Perseverance is steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Again, it speaks to the top two. Resistance, failure, and opposition is normal on your journey to meet your goals. It's normal in your journey to ha develop good habits. It's normal in your journey to create change in your life because you're tired of the way that things are. It's normal to meet resistance, failure, and opposition. Totally normal. But you have to rise above it and you have to push through it because otherwise you're still going to be stuck. And it doesn't feel good sometimes to rise above. It doesn't feel good to push through. It, it can feel uncomfortable. It can feel painful. And it can make you feel icky at times. But it's so worth it if you want to get where you want to go, right? I mean, if you want to stay where you're at and you're perfectly happy where you're at, then that's great. Have a nice day. We have nothing to talk about <laughs> because... I am a coach who's committed to helping you be what where you want be what you want to be and go where you want to go and meet those goals and meet those things that are important to you that you don't feel like you have time for that feel too hard. I can stand beside you and help you do that. But it takes you rising above and pushing through it. And you don't need me. It could be any other coach or it can be you saying to yourself, I can rise above this and I can push through it. And it's so important to really think about those things. Again, it's looking past what's happening right now and seeing what I do right now, what decision I make right now can affect where I want to go tomorrow. So just to recap, keep your eyes focused and ahead. Again, be in the moment, but also be thinking about how it's affecting your future. Be unique in a non-committed culture, so very important, and persevere. Your goals are worth it, you are worth it, and all you have to do is push through, and I promise you, I promise you that it will get more comfortable over time, like I said before, training for the Olympics. You won't automatically meet your goal the second you decide to have a goal. It takes time and it takes commitment. It takes perseverance. And again, it's normal to be uncomfortable. It's normal to even to find resistance in the people around you. And it's normal to find resistance in yourself. But push through it. Identify why you're feeling resistance and you know what's going on there. Totally important. But push through it. It, you're important, you're, and your goals are so important. 
Well, that's it from me today. Keep it short and sweet. Keep your eyes focused ahead. Be unique in a non-committed culture and persevere. Those are the ways to be a crockpot over a microwave. Microwaves just want one and done. And again, and from an efficiency standpoint, one and done, it's a great concept. But that's not how you meet your goals. You meet goals slow and steady. And you develop a beautiful thing over time. Because again, it's our goals are so much more about the journey than they are about the end results. Though the end result is where we're striving. Every single day, we prove to ourselves that we can do it and that we're strong and that we can do more. And then as soon as we get to that point, then we we before we plateau we can push ourselves and then we can decide that i am you know we're strong you're growing and there are more and just keeps going and going and going again it's about the end result and the journey it's not just about one or the other so real quick before i sign off i just want to tell you about a little thing i have going on starting next week starting next tuesday i am going to have a brand new challenge specifically for you it is it is called um, uh, do the work without the hustle it's a five-day challenge sorry I stumbled on my words there uh, do the work without the hustle I'm going to put information on how to sign up for that in the comment section of this Facebook live and I hope to see you there it's going to be amazing a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about will actually be in that challenge and I hope to see you there and have a great and productive rest of your day.